Our next guest is a young magpie who's come through beautifully over the last couple of weeks. His name's Jared Blair. He's a good uh, Gippsland boy too, and he joins on TAC Cup Future Stars. Welcome, Jared. Thanks, Archie. How are you enjoying league footy? The last two weeks have been superb for you, haven't they? Yeah, it's um, it's all been pretty exciting. You know, I sort of was starting to get to the stage where I wasn't sure whether I'd be able to crack into the side because I was travelling pretty well, pretty well, and um, to play the last couple of weeks has been really good. Yeah. And to play on Friday night football on a big stage, your first interstate game, and to get over Port Adelaide, they were definitely fired up early. Could you tell that there was a lot of Mark Williams sentiment in the way they went about it early on? Yeah, they uh, come out pretty fired up and sort of put the boys on the back foot a little bit and we had to reassess at quarter time and after a bit of a bake, a few, a few of the boys got going. And Jared, uh, the Collingwood boys give you a stick about your height, mate, but you must have a big heart. But your role on the side, I watched your first game against West Coast and you had 16 possessions. Getting forward, um, crumbing also in the midfield, um, the crumbs dry up a little bit there too because you've got such tall timber down there, haven't you? Yeah, well that's right, you know. Um, Dawsey's been taking a few grabs and stuff like that, but Bucks, I think Bucks has put a big emphasis on him. If he can't mark it, bring the ball to, ball to the ground for, for the smaller blokes and when you know, Brad Dick and those boys are up and running, it's a pretty dangerous forward line. Eh? And it hasn't taken you long to get into the goals Friday night, you, uh, you bobbed up, uh, it's always good. you just got to work yeah. on your celebrations a bit more, Jared. <laughs> Yeah, I was um, I was lucky to get on the end of a few there, but no, I don't know about the celebrations. One of my mates, Luke Rounds, is he uh, let you know if you celebrate a bit too hard, so I'll better keep it low key. I think. <laughs> is that within your range of normal? I mean, this is a terrific kick. Um, I'd like to say it is, but there was a, there was a fair gale blowing on Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was I was actually at your uh, your first game against the West Coast Eagles. I mean, you come into the side when Steel Sidebottom uh, went out on that particular game. I thought it was great that the club rewarded you. you. You did your bit by playing so well on that particular night, but the club then rewarded you to keep you in the side the next week. I thought that was very good. Yeah, obviously I wasn't sure whether I was going to... Like hold my spot in the side and um, to stay in and play again on Friday night was, was really good. Were you nervous on the night? Was it uh, a dream come true for you? Yeah, it was a dream come true. Um, yeah, I was pretty nervous. I suppose you get that first five minutes out of the way and uh, just get, get into it, yeah. Who's been working with you closely at Collingwood? Um, I think you've got about 25 coaches down there and um, <laughs> soon they'll have about 44 a player for everyone. But um, who do you work closely with down there? Um, oh, there's a few. I do, do a fair bit with Luke Beveridge. Just going through game and stuff like that, and uh, VFL coach Gavin Brown has been a big help help to me. But I probably do the most with uh, liquor, yep. just on fitness and stuff like that. Like put a big emphasis on trying to get a lot of outside ball. So I'd of course Luke, uh, Luke and you've got a little bit in common. He was a little vertically challenged as well when you back in, <laughs> in his day, and yeah. overcame that to play fantastic footy. Yeah, he is a pretty good player, Bevo. He, um, he gets all the young boys over to his house and shows them all a photo of him sitting on someone's shoulders. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, Jared, you didn't have a conventional pathway through. You'd uh, won the Morrish Medal. You shared that with Farron Priest, and you'd won uh, Team of the Year selection, best and fairest at Gippsland Power, and then uh, nothing happened on draft day. Tell us your, your recollection of that in 2008. Um, yeah, obviously, you know, you get a little bit disheartened during the year, like a lot of other blokes come through like John Butcher and those fellas and they get all the letters from the clubs and that sort of stuff and um, to not get that, that sort of stuff you, you don't know what's going on and to miss out draft day was obviously disappointing and I suppose I was lucky enough I went down to Collingwood to try out just to play VFL there and ended up speaking to Decker and Noel Judkins and to get a place on the rookie list was really good. It's big 27 so he had to wait his turn shifter, but the way the small forwards have evolved in the game now, it's a, it's a good time to be a small forward, and if you can put defensive pressure on and kick goals, you're going to have a good value in the system now. Well, it looks like there's two or three in most teams, and it needs two or three then to watch them. So all of a sudden, there's about six in the game. So I think it's the real big return of fellas like Jared, and uh, congratulations on what you've achieved. You fought very, very hard once they overlooked, and uh, it is a great story for the game to see the rookies kicking on like you are. Shift, yeah, it's been good. Hang around for a sec. We'll have a look at the TAC Cup games yesterday, including the Murray Bush Rangers and the Geelong Falcons. A great win by the Falcons, 12-17-89 to 5-7-37. Smith kicked four, and Davis the best for the Falcons. But Devin Smith's the player the boys want to have a look at. And we're going to really push up another small forward here in Devin Smith, and one that we saw actually star for, uh, for Vic Country and National Championships. The vision is a very windy day here yesterday. Just a smart player. He gets in front, anticipates, but... Uh, He's like a bee in a bottle when you see him up inside 50. He lays tackles. He averaged six tackles a game in the national championships. And he doesn't come up 
to the draft until next year. So he's one to be patient on, but I think you'll see Devon Smith get a crack at it next year. He's one that you've really liked along the way, Dicker. Absolutely. I just think the nuggety forward, uh, obviously, uh, there is a place in the game, and Jared's obviously put that, but the small forward is just absolutely vital because key position players these days, uh, they need a support act. And Devon getting one vote there in the McDonald's TAC Cup Coaches Player of the Year. Well done, mate. Congratulations on the form. It's great watching you play. You're the defying the odds, you're staying in the team and I get the feeling you could play a really big role coming into this final series. Yeah, well, I hope so. It'd be good to good to hold on to my position and we'll see how we go. Jared Blair joining us from the Magpies right here on TAC Cup Future Stars.